Okay. So w what I would like you to do, actually, is if you're comfortable with it, I don't want to make, well, I do want to make you do uncomfortable things. So um, I want you to approach me. I'm going to give you a setting. And we're at, um, do you like art? Sure. Okay. So we're at an art gallery. And I'm looking at this painting. And I want you to approach me and start a conversation. And then I just want—I want to see what you do, and then I'm going to give you feedback on it. Okay? I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling and tell you how I'm responding to the way that you approach me, and then give you a couple of things to try after and see if it changes. Okay. okay? Wow, you—you you know what? You're the cutest girl in this whole museum, and I'm the cutest guy here. So I figure you want to get to talk to, to get to know, <laughs> get to know me. My name's Johnny. My boyfriend's just over there. Oh, fuck that guy. I mean, <laughs> See, that was good. That was actually really good. OK, that I like. The first part creeped me out. Oh, really? Totally oh, creeped really? me out, yeah. Because you came up like from the side and, and, and were telling me what I wanted, and I couldn't really understand what you were saying. But that part where you owned it, and you're like, fuck that guy. That's confidence. That's like in your belly confidence, OK? And then continue after telling my boyfriend to go fuck himself. Um, yeah, fuck that guy. It's all about right here. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, this, this panty's beautiful. And I don't know, so that's why I get stuck. That's OK. Yeah. OK, but then I want, I want you to go into your own world. OK, so this is the thing that I want all of us to kind of try in our own heads. But I'm going to, what's your name? Johnny. Johnny. I'm going to do it with Johnny, OK? okay. I'm going to do it with Johnny. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, so it's called observation, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to look around the room, OK? And for the next 15 seconds, I literally want you to call out everything that you see to me, OK? So uh, light hanging from there, a weird picture of some guy, a carpet. Uh, I, couldn't, I can't see. I have the worst eyes. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't see. Um, and then lights, like all these things. I want you to call it out to me, the observations, OK? OK. Uh, mirror. Mirror, curtain, uh, door, couch. Say it confidently. You couch. see, I know what they are. <laughs> Lighting. Um, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. People. A whole bunch of like guys staring at us strangely and awkwardly. Um, okay. Good. So these are observations. Okay. Now I want you to go back around the room and I want you to attach a story to each of them. Okay. <clears throat> so that it's like, oh, there's like a carpet hanging up over that thing. I wonder how that carpet got up there. There must have, I, I don't actually know. There's a lot of weird shit in this room. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to bring these things in. But like, OK, so let's say you were saying a microphone. Oh, there was this one time where I was at a comedy show and a guy was using a microphone just like this one, which helps like really expand his voice, a story like that. So that, because every single thing that you see around you at all times is something to use for conversation. So you, I don't know how old each of you are. I'm 31. So I've had 31 years of experience with things around me so that I have a story, an experience, a feeling about each of those things. So if I walk down the street and I see a street light, I'm like, oh, I've seen street lights before. Um, something can come out of that observation of a street light. Conversation is around you always. Just this is this is what the um, exercise is all about. So what I want you to do with sharing is I want you to say simply, okay, there's there's a light up there. Actually, I've never seen one of those lights before. Oh, yes, I have. OK, so I used to be in plays when I was younger. And I used to love being on stage. And they used to have some of those lights. And I remember whenever they would turn it on, it would just blind me right away. So I was doing this one performance of a chorus line. I was very good. I was Cassie. And um, I, I completely forgot my lines as soon as that, that light went on. Isn't that, have you seen one of these before? No. OK, so something like that, where there's an, ex, an experience. And, I've been working on my conversation for quite some time. So I'm just I'm saying that this is a skill that I've really been working on because I've I've had challenges with conversation and with sh with sharing myself verbally. Um, so just to let you know, it doesn't have to be as grand of a story as that. But I do want you to pull from your bank of experiences and stories and feelings to tell me about an item in this room. Okay. Does that make sense? I think so. OK. And there's, there's two things that you can do as well. And this is for you guys as well. To remember the word because. Because, the word because helps you inject an emotion into what you're talking about and helps you to go um, 
internal is what I call it. But so if you use the word because, you literally have to think why, why is it because? And then you go internal where you're not focusing on, on the other person. You're actually going into your uh, memory bank to try and find out why you think a certain way. So using the word because while you're talking is a great trigger for you to expand on something that you've made a statement about. And if you don't use the word because, simply asking yourself the question why, if you can re remember to do that, also helps you expand because it will trigger you to say because, so that you actually share more than just like, I like basketball. It's like, I like basketball because I like love how all the dudes run across, this is my own why I like basketball, not yours, <laughs> but you, you know what I'm saying. So. Those are two trigger things to remember, uh, is the word because. Okay. Or internally, you can ask yourself the question, why am I talking about that? Why is it interesting? The word why is really important. Okay. So, whenever you're ready. Um, I like that painting or that poster because I saw it at the Getty when I went there. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, something else. Uh, I like those curtains because they're black. Yes, yeah, I got no idea. That's okay. Yeah. That's, that's, I don't want you to think you're wrong because that you you can say I like those curtains because they're black, and I yeah. Hell yeah, why do you like them? Like as long as you own it and you're okay with it, I'm not gonna doubt you. But if you can't even sell yourself, then how am I gonna buy into what you're selling? Like you're your best publicist. You have to remember that. So if you're gonna say you like black curtains, then you gotta fucking own that you like that black curtains. I don't. I think those are maroon. But anyway. But. Um. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Honestly, don't think about right or wrong. There is no right or wrong right now. It's just about practice. So it's not. You're not going to say anything that I haven't ever heard before. So you came up here very confidently and went right into conversation. You have a world of things to share. You just have to, be, have to be proud of them and understand that I will only judge you if you judge you. So nothing is wrong. Oh, uh, I like that mirror because it's so fucking huge. Yeah, <laughs> I like it too because it's fucking huge. <laughs> I like that poster of Captain Hook. That's pretty. That's pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> what do you? Why do you like it? Well, I just think it's pretty like badass that a guy would make like a poster of himself. And, like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So these are the things. Like, I want to know why you like it because when you tell me why you like it, I learn something else about you. Yeah. Okay? okay. So that I know that a lot of guys are afraid to share information about themselves because, like, if I say this and I sway in this direction, ooh, she may not like me. I may rock the boat. So let's just stay neutral and just agree with whatever she says, and then she's gonna like me more. And it doesn't work that way. So, so these things help expand on emotions so that I can feel you as a woman. If I can't feel anything about you, there is no way in hell I'm ever going to want to fuck you. Okay. 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 So that was good. Thank you. All right.